Um, yes, track on pretty good, yeah. Yeah, so he'll be available for us. Which he should be. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, what have you made uh, just in the last sort of 48 hours since it was always pretty good at test match? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was a big test. Uh, a lot of physicality as expected. Um, big contest, uh, the collision side of it, the set piece side, um, tackles made at a big intensity, a lot bigger than we've had um, throughout the whole year or so far. So. Um, yeah, looking to build on that, but the boys have um, recovered really well. Just have to touch on the um, refereeing and the controversy around that. Um, what's happened from your guys' side uh, since the match? What specific part are you talking about? Uh, the the try that was allowed that on review appeared to be in the line. Yeah, um, we haven't talked about it to be honest, we've moved on. Okay. And uh, anything, any update on um, the, the Sam Kane uh, contacted Sir Khaleesi? Uh, well, nothing that I've heard. The comments <coughs> came through live in the game that was glancing. So, yeah. yeah no, so no, no follow up from uh, no, 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 okay. no, I haven't heard anything on that. Jason, um, South African rugby has apologised for his time on the, the hucker. Um, I guess your reaction to that apology around the, the noise and the, the sound going early. Yeah, well, look, we accept that if, if the apologies come through. Yeah, look, I, in all honesty, it's you sometimes get a bit of chaos around that, but you know the, the South African players themselves. You know, they stood there and respected it as they always do. It's probably the officials, the ones that need the upcut. So if they've made the apology, that's fine. <laughs> um, Jace, from your perspective as a Fords coach, in the last 20 minutes, it seems to be a, a drop off just in intensity or, you know, point scoring. What, what do you think the key is to rectify that? Yeah, I think um, yeah, it's a fair question. I think, um, you know, we haven't, you know, finished particularly that game as, as well as we could have. We just talked about in our review. And, you know, we've got some um, younger men starting their test career as well so we're we're um you know we're honest around the reality of where we're at with that part of it but by no means are we um sugarcoating it and overlooking it you know we are acknowledging it and um we'll look to improve it definitely so it's more a selection thing maybe than a tactical thing in that last 20 minutes or what? Uh, i think it could be a little bit of both to be fair you know you've got guys coming on that have played a handful of tests and you know she's <laughs> She's some, some some atmosphere, especially you know the Ellis Park against the best team in the world. So, but we you know we're also pretty confident that we're making some um, progress in our game where we need to be as well. So, there's always something to work on. Jason, have you spoke about the intensity? Have you seen the spin box sort of chop and change the team from week to week? Is there something we like are looking at to, to ensure that physicality is right? Okay. Yeah, it's a balance between. Um, you know, keeping consistency in your squad and in your selections, but also being brave and giving guys um, an opportunity so they can actually um, live what this sort of intensity is like. Because it's a lot, as I said before, it's a lot, um, lot bigger contest mentally and physically. So, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll pick our team tomorrow. But you know, it's a fine line to be fair. So no doubt, probably to be in Cape Town at the coast and just Cape Town in general. Much love, by it. Many people have the world. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, look at it. I mean, Tabletop Mountain just out there. She wanted a bad view for breakfast. I'll give you the tip. But, um, yeah, it is a nice spot. But, you know, we um, can't let that sort of distract us either. You know, we've got a, we've got a job to do and be focused on this test match. Um, you know, we're, we're always learning as an all-black team. So we've got to make sure that we're, you know, being accountable where we need to be in the areas where we need to be better. Um, Jason, you made a point in responding to this mate's question. You said which referee decision. Were you guys happy with the standard of, of officiating um, in Saturday's test? Well, it was a big test match for uh, Andrew Brace, wasn't it? A very big test match for him. So um, I'm sure he would have learned a lot as we did. Jason, do you, then, do you really intend to spin box having moved the team announcement to Thursday afternoon? I wasn't even aware, uh, sorry, when they named the team. Oh, they named it on Thursday now. Oh, okay. oh, thanks, <laughs> Jason, you've, you've obviously been in a position where you've lost a, a match in the rugby championship and you came back. Do you draw any sort of confidence yeah. from that, you know, that you can come back after after the defeat at Innsbruck? Yeah, well, look, I think so. I think that, you know, both test matches, every test match is different. And this test match, like I said, we, the collision side of it and the, the intensity and the physicality was right up there, you know, and... Um, but the encouraging thing is we did show signs where we can um, play some footy, you know, and we, that's what we want to do, we want to play some footy and um, all going well, we'll be able to do that again and, and, and keep, our, keep our game going. But 
you know, like we're just looking to build consistency in our week and our game. Like you can stand here and say we want to respond and all that, but that's we should respond to every test match, you know. So um, yeah, we're just challenging the group to be better as much as we can every day. Jason, we're about to hear from Ethan as well. What have you made of um, his last few test matches? Yeah, he's been great. He's been uh, really good in the. You talk about physicality and intensity. It's sort of. One thing I know about Ethan is, you know, the bigger the contest, probably the better he goes, you know, so he's showed um, some good consistency in his game and he's had some big shifts and um, he's gone to the well in every test he's played and he's, you know, he's, um, he's given it everything he got, does, does his work during the week and, yeah, he's, um, it's credit to him. Jason, how much confidence does it give you that uh, you guys will full drive and, and uh, also more drives, the fact that you are able to beat the box to fit that work? Yeah, um, look, it does, you know, like they are, you know, we see them in the best of the world, they are, and, and, and they're big rocks and, you know, gave us um, a bit of confidence and the boys worked pretty hard at that plan last week and um, knew what we wanted to do and how we wanted to do about it, uh, go about it, so, yeah, I think we um, we took a lot of positive um, thoughts from that and encouragement. Jason, you guys got a pretty awesome welcome at the airport yesterday. How did that yeah. feel to see all those fans? Yeah, it was good, actually. I, you know, I remember I know all the Super Rugby teams used to get welcomed here from New Zealand. There's a good, you know, good um, network of fans here. So it was good. That it meant a lot to the boys, too, actually. To see that many, it was probably a little bit surprising, a bit overwhelmed with uh, how many were there, to be fair. But, yeah, it's, um, it's great for us and, you know, looking forward to this weekend um, at the stadium, only been Newlands myself, so looking forward to what that will bring. Hopefully it's a bit dry in the under-20s we'll come yes. Fair point. <laughs> is, it, is there much awareness in the playing group as to sort of why that is? Why there is just so much support here for this? For I'm not actually sure, no. Maybe the coastline or the mountains? <laughs> <laughs> but Jason, just in terms of the scum battle, are you happy with you? Are you guys doing a squad of Titanic side, but you need to the and plans on that? Yeah, I think so. They had a good, good go at it, and um, oh look, I think there's a lot of uh, there's a similar mindset between both packs. They want they want to scrummage. There's not a lot of games going on, and um, you know both teams want to crack at it. Um, you know, Dan who know well really well. He's he prides himself in that area as I do. So um, I look forward to catching up with him after the game. But um, I think that too, you know, they both teams scrummage pretty positively. To be fair. Um, See, Khaleesi probably unlikely to play that facial fracture this week. How much of a loss is that for South Africa? Oh, I'm sure they'll be next man in as, as we are. If you lose one of those players, you know, they'll trust their whole squad. Um, Jason, how much confidence does the team take in the fact that they've actually done very well in Cape Town? All Blacks have only lost once here since 1996. Thanks for letting me know that. I was actually uh, <laughs> unaware of that stat, but um, yeah, look, uh, you know, we pride ourselves on some pretty good performances at Ellis Park too, so. Look, I'm sure we'll we'll build our week and um, look forward to the contest. Cheers, guys. We might wrap things up there with Jase. Thanks, cool. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Everybody.